we also could have made our Lark Baby Carrier a seven pound minimum, but we didn't for very good reasons. When designing our Lark Baby Carrier, probably would have made sense to be wearing one, but I'm not. Anyway, so when we were designing the Lark, we wanted to have a taller panel on it because we wanted to make sure that it could be used for a really long time because babies grow very quickly. Now, when you safety test something, there is no different test for a seven pound baby versus a 10 pound baby. We chose to have that weight limit. There's no difference between the test for a seven pound baby and a 10 pound baby in a baby carrier, in a soft structured carrier. Just let that sink in for a minute. Now the upper end is different. The upper end, they do increase the weight that goes into the carrier to test sort of how well the carrier does with a higher weight. But the lower end of the spectrum, there's nothing. Everybody, like our carrier has to pass the lower end of the spectrum test regardless. What does that mean? That means that when a carrier company tells you that their carrier can be used for a seven pound baby, generally it just means that they passed the test that we all passed. So we could advertise our Lark carrier at seven pounds, but we don't because we have a taller panel and that wouldn't be responsible. There are definitely plenty of carriers out there where a seven pound baby would work because the panel is adjustable. That height can go up and down based on whether it's perfect fit adjusters or rolling the waistband for certain apron style carriers. The Lark doesn't have that option right now. So we said, all right, let's do 10 pounds. And then on our website, not only do we do 10 pounds, we also say that your baby should be wearing three month clothing and up. Why? So when you put your baby in a baby carrier, you want their airway to be clear. Always, you always wanna be able to see their airway. We don't want our babies to have fabric over the top of their heads or their face. So when your baby's in a baby carrier, I don't care what baby carrier it is, okay? If they're in a soft structured carrier with a panel, you need to make sure that it does not go above here on their head, okay? You wanna make sure that their head is not completely covered by that panel. You wanna be able to see their face, airways up, and it should not go above the bottom of their earlobe. Again, certain carriers have ways that you can adjust the panel, even the Lark, you can adjust it to make it so that the panel comes further down their back with certain tweaks in the way that you put it on. But I just wanna be really clear that just because something says it's tested down to the seven pound weight limit, they all are. It's just a matter of what that company wants to advertise. Literally, even our toddler baby carrier passed like the minimum weight test of seven pounds, but we would never put a seven pound baby in that carrier. And the weight limit on that on the bottom for us is 25 pounds. I know it's somewhat confusing and frustrating and I honestly didn't appreciate these things until I owned a baby carrier company and I did baby testing. So I think it's really important to talk about these things because I continue to see companies marketing or influencers sharing things and not knowing because companies will show on their website pictures of babies with their heads completely within the carrier panel. So again, the rule of thumb is, we do not want the panel to go above here on your baby. If it does, you need to address that carrier or not use it until they're bigger. As always, if you have questions, drop them below and we'll do our best to answer.